In today's video, I reveal just how much profit I've made from Amazon since starting my business earlier in the year. Cue the intro. Hi folks, welcome to the channel. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Andrew. I am a part-time eBay reseller and since the start of this year, also a part-time Amazon reseller. And it's that Amazon journey that I want to focus on today. I set up uh, an Amazon account, uh, got all the sort of balls in motion for it uh, at the, well, on Christmas Day actually last year. It took me a few weeks to get everything verified. I had my first sort of proper day of sales on Amazon on the 27th of January. Now, if you've watched my previous video on my Amazon targets for this year. I'm just doing fulfillment by Amazon on it. Uh, I'm not looking to do fulfilled by merchants. Uh, and I set a target in that video of making a profit of 500 pounds a month, each month by the end of this year. Um, conscious that actually January was a write off uh, because they didn't get any sales until the end of January. But I'm still gonna set a target, I think actually of doing a full 500 pounds a month profit across the year, which equals 6,000 pounds worth of profit. Uh, that will include, obviously that will be profit after cost of goods, after all my Amazon fees have been paid, um, after all the subscriptions I have, like to Celeramp SaaS and to Discord groups that I'm part of, and to Profit Protector Pro that I use to do my repricing. Um, I still want to have hopefully over six thousand pounds worth of profit which i think would be a good figure to get from first year doing it part-time 500 crowns a month is you know a decent amount of money to earn part-time i have been a bit lax in sending in shipments um i haven't sent one in for a week or two now and i have periods where i'll do like free and then i'll have periods where i do do none because i just get too busy doing other things um, so it's a bit up and down. Um, I am trying to get more consistent with sending stuff into Amazon. So hopefully towards the end of the year that consistency will start to have an impact. But at the minute we're still very up and down in terms of what I'm sending in, which obviously has a reflection on my profits. But I will do monthly updates to show how I've done. Uh, I figured I would do this first one for May today because um, I'm actually away for the next few days so I don't think I'm going to be able to publish any videos so this is going to sort of cover the next two or three days until I can produce another video for my YouTube channel so without further ado we'll switch to future Andrew who will fire up the skewify software which I use to track my uh, profits my inventory and various other bits and pieces of information across my Amazon store so let's switch to future Andrew Okay, thank you, previous Andrew. Future Andrew is here. This is Skewify, uh, the main dashboard which tracks everything I've done. I've set it to have a look at the last 365 days since we'll be starting Amazon in January, and it now be May the 28th at the time of recording, 2024. This gives a good insight into how I've done. You can see here that I've had uh, 12 pounds uh, worth of sales. I have had some refunds a whole £69.74 so that's not too bad really uh, I've sold 835 units and I've obviously still got stock at Amazon at the minute uh, my margin on that has been just below 25% uh, which I'm happy with that's a decent margin my return on investment has been just over 32% I'm aiming for a minimum of 30% return on investment so for every thousand pounds I invest I'm able to get about £300 back. So I've met that target. But the most important one, of course, is the profit. Uh, now, up until the end of May, uh, we're not quite halfway through the year, uh, but I would be expecting to hit um, about £2,500 worth of profit uh, before the subscription costs come off. The subscription costs are um, about £150 a month that I pay. So if we times that by four to six hundred, seven hundred and fifty pounds a month. Um, so we'd actually need to hit the profit of 
3,250 pounds to hit my target. And I'm just short of that. Currently, I'm on 3,061 pounds. So a little below the target I've set, but I've been inconsistent with sending in shipments. I'm sure once I start getting into swinging things and getting a shipment across every week, that will improve. And it will improve massively when Q4 hits as well. So I'm not particularly worried about that because I think December's figures will give me quite a boost anyway. So I'm roughly on target. I'm on target if I did include my subscription costs, uh, which I wasn't going to do initially, but I think it's only fair to include those as part of my profit. So yeah, uh, nearly, nearly at the £500 a month figure that I want to hit. And obviously, January didn't have any sales so if I hadn't counted January as part of this then I would actually be ahead but I am counting it you know I'm giving myself a few hurdles here to overcome um, and I'm on good track so far uh, I really want to push harder in June and July to see what uh, I can get happening over the summer months uh, so we'll see how that journey goes but so far all is good We'll switch to Future Future Andrew just to sum up the video. Thank you Future Andrew, Future Future Andrew here. Uh, so we have uh, nearly hit target. Uh, it will be interesting to see what the end of June brings. I will look to do one of these videos early in July to see where I'm at. Hopefully in June I will ship more boxes in. I think in May I've only shipped in about two or three. I really want to be shipping at least one box a week into Amazon because I make about two three hundred pounds profit at least on each box so if you uh, you know do four boxes then I'm hitting that profit target so that's what that's how I've got to think I am changing my shipping strategy slightly because what I'm what I've been doing before is just like doing an Amazon box all in one go start to finish but I'm struggling to find the, the couple of hours that I need to do to properly do that uh, Scanning fair, add to my inventory, do the shipping plan, do any issues that arise, unpack the box when I was decided to split shipment and all that kind of stuff. Um, so what I might start doing actually is just putting a little bo bit in a box each day until a box is filled and hopefully that will help me improve so I can do a box a day. Um, I do like random comments for videos so if you've made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching comment cardboard box down below because that will totally confuse people as to why there's comments about cardboard boxes on a video that's about Amazon profits um, and don't forget to hit that like button on your way out as well because that really does help the channel grow apparently YouTube loves it um, when people like stuff I'm actually meeting YouTube next week uh, down in London as well so may even make further improvements to the channel who knows but anyway thank you very much for watching see you on the next video Bye for now.